Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is the tenth of a list of video tutorials where I show you how I make um, terrain pieces and or various elements to use in your tabletop slash RPG games. In this video I'm going to make a two story building semi destroyed divided into arbs so that we can use both floors in our games. All we need for this is some cardboard for the base structure and some type of foam for the bricks. I'm using high density styrofoam because uh, it's uh, easier to work with compared to the normal styrofoam and uh, it's also easier to find compared to XPF. For this build I'm going to use only PVA glue to show you that you don't need any fancy glues to make any of this build. Let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is cut and glue together the walls for the base structure. They are just four rectangles and their dimensions are completely based on your proportions. For reference, the one I'm making are 10 by 15 for the base and 12 cm tall. Then we're going to rip some pieces apart to make it look like it has been destroyed. Next, we're going to cut the cardboard for our base floor and for our first floor. Remember to cut a little hole on the first floor for the stairs. I'm not going to glue the first floor to the building yet, because it's easier to work on the ground floor without it. Then we're going to cut all the bricks that we need for this build. Again, for reference, they are like 1 cm by 0.5 by a couple of millimeters. We're going to need a lot of these bricks, so get armed with patience and start cutting. After we're done cutting, we can start gluing them to the building. To make it a little bit more interesting, we can use some larger bricks to make a pattern on the floor. After completing the ground floor, we can glue the first floor to the building and keep on going.
after the whole building is covered in bricks, now that we can take more precise measurements, we can build our stairs. A tip for the stairs. When you're cutting the actual steps, instead of cutting the cardboard completely, you can just score it lightly, so to make it easier to bend and keep it in shape. After the stairs are cut, glued and covered in bricks, we can work on our windows. To make them, I'm using some small rectangles cut from a thin plastic packaging from a cake, covering it completely with glue to get a more frosted effect, and then gluing some smaller bricks along the perimeter. Repeat this process for as many windows as you need on both sides of the plastic. Then mark on your building where each window will go and cut a hole for it. Now, before we start painting, to make it easier to paint and then to play with, we're going to cut this building in half just below the first floor. Now for the painting. The first thing we're going to do is cover everything with a mix of PBA glue and paint to act as our base coat and in order to protect our bricks. You can make this lighter or darker based on how you want your bricks to be. You can use an air dryer to speed up the drying process. Unfortunately, I lost some footage here, but uh, after everything is covered with the base coat, we can paint the bricks that make the pattern with a different color. And then we're going to paint with different colored washes some of the bricks to make it look more natural and more interesting. Lastly, we just need to overbrush, which is basically aggressively dry brushing with a much lighter paint. After that, the building is basically done and completely usable as it is. 
but if you have access to a 3D printer or you can buy some decorative miniatures from a hobby store, we can add them to our terrain. After that, we are actually done and the building is ready. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, and remember, keep playing with your maps.